Hey guys, Brendan here with TJ Free, and in this video I have a couple t-shirts that I had printed at Teespring and Printful, and I used Inkscape to put these t-shirts together. I sourced some of the artwork from Pixabay and did some modifications, and then they have my logo, my TJ Free, uh, like the icon on the back. And so I just want to kind of show you how these turned out and show you the process. We'll hop over to the screencast on the computer and show you how I interfaced between um, how I knew kind of what they would look like, the shirt colors from these different websites, and then how I designed them in Inkscape and got that artwork put onto Teespring and Printful. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you what these shirts look like. They're all mediums. All right, this one is the Prism Heather Lilac. It's a medium shirt. I haven't washed it yet. This is just brand new. So I have a little icon on the back there. And uh, I actually did order this shirt for me, even though it's sort of maybe a more feminine color. <laughs> So this is the American Apparel, size medium. This one feels a little bit more tough. I would wear this one more as like a work shirt. It feels a little bit more uh, rigid and a little more tight around the torso, actually. Um, it's not nearly as soft as that uh, Bella Canvas one. So I really like this design a lot. I may change, I changed it a little bit. So I actually sourced these independently on uh, Pixabay. I'll include the link um, in the description of this video. The only thing is, this is way too low down here. It was supposed to be up here and smaller and it got down there. So I'll have to adjust that. I don't really, don't really like the back at all. I may just change the front and just do like a TJ Free across somewhere, the logo somewhere, but uh, maybe I'll put the logo on here. One cool thing about these print on demand services is that you can, um, once you have a design in there, you can put it on just about anything. I put it on like a beach towel and a mug like this. So the same design for that t-shirt I also have on this uh, mug, which is just kind of cool, kind of just a simple design. And I also did some die cast stickers. So using this same design, uh, I had it put into a sticker form. So I submitted like a big square with just this and this, and then they actually cut it out and etched it out with their die cut. So this is a quite a large uh, sticker for putting on as well. But yeah, you can print all kinds all kinds of stuff. A little bit pricey. I believe this is, my cost is $12 for this, for the sample. I think these were about $2.50 a piece plus some shipping. So uh, yeah, they're a little bit pricey it, when you print individual one at a time. In bulk, you can get them a lot cheaper. Moving over to the screencast now, I'll show you an example here at Printful. This is the actual order of these two shirts that I just showed. So this is the ones from Printful. Again, that yellow shirt was ordered from Teespring. Uh, what you do is you just upload your artwork, and all of these sites are very similar. You choose a, a, a shirt that you want, you upload your artwork, and then it shows you an example of what that looks like on that shirt with that color. But uh, what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can be able to see what it might look like while you're designing it rather than having to upload and use their kind of design software, which really it only lets you upload and put the artwork on the shirt. You can't edit the artwork usually uh, on these types of sites. But it shows you all the different colors that you can choose from. And so um, what you can do, they have a template you can actually download. So we download this, and it actually gives us a, a, a zipped folder containing a PNG image and a PSD Photoshop file that we could use to kind of design and see the print area of the shirt. But I didn't find that incredibly useful, and it doesn't also show us the shirt color. So I have this uh, Nimbus uh, plugin on my web browser that lets me capture a part of my screen. So I'm just going to capture this uh, color, the different colors available for this shirt. And then I drag that file into Inkscape. And you can also just hit the print screen key on your keyboard and then hit Control V when you're in Inkscape and you can just paste that uh, depending on how your print screen function is set up. Then next I went over to pixabay.com and I changed to search for vector graphics and I just searched for a t-shirt template. There's all kinds of different templates here. If you're not familiar with Pixabay, uh, it's a great source uh, for getting free vector art and photographs. Um, you have to log in but then we'll download this uh, template of these four different, a V-neck and a standard crew neck uh, shirt. I download these, and then we can open this up also in Inkscape since it's an SVG vector file. And then I'm just gonna select the whole thing and copy it and move it over to my other document. I go to right click copy, bring up that other document with these uh, this color palette already in here and go to right click paste. And now I have these white shirt uh, templates 
here with these, this different color palette. And all I have to do now is change the color of these. First I can go to Object, Ungroup, since they're all four grouped together. Then I can change the color individually now that they're ungrouped. I can go over here to the left hand side and get the Dropper tool. And then when the shirt is selected, all I have to do is left click on a color and it will change it to that color. And since I already chose these, I got these colors from the website, it shows me a rough idea of what that color will look like on that shirt. Then I can go into the fill and stroke settings as well under object fill and stroke. And I could just change to a very custom color as well if I didn't want to choose a color from here. But that's not a very good way to do it because then you won't know exactly what the color will look like. It's a good idea to use uh, the dropper tool and pick a color from the the colors that were available of that shirt because of course you know the shirts are only available in certain colors so i'm going to speed up the video very quickly here and just show you i duplicated all of these so that i had a shirt to represent every different color then i went through one by one and got the dropper tool just going over through every different shirt color until i had all the colors mapped and so i had every different color of t-shirt um, for that particular one i think this one was bella canvas maybe so this Bella canvas shirt, I had every color available on Printful, and then I could just start doing my design. I'll just show you an example here. You could either draw, uh, draw your design directly onto the shirt using text and different object tools in Inkscape if you're familiar, or you can also import artwork, um, like I did some from Pixabay, or you can have a graphic designer you know, create something for you, then you can import that in and, and use that, either images or vector art. And then we can just go to Printful to verify that we've got the right colors. And we can just look and see here, we can find this yellow color. And if I drag the window over, we can see what it looks like. We can see they're, they're pretty similar. You know, lighting plays a factor, but it gets us in the ballpark of what hue and what darkness and you know color of shirt we're using. So I hope you found this video informative, guys. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below. I'll make another video showing how to upload the artwork to these different sites like Printful uh, and, and uh, Teespring. But uh, for now, I'm going to end this video. So leave your questions and comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And I'll catch you in the next video.